You saw me, saw my soul Drew me in, pulled me close Hello, please excuse the ginormous smile on my face. But look at this weather, how could I not be in a good mood? I am here in Bray, which is not Dublin. It's actually County Wicklow. It's the next county just south of Dublin. Uh, and I realized that this is the first time I've been outside of County Dublin since I went home to New York City for Christmas. There is a very famous trail here, or cliff walk it's called, the Bray to Greystones walk, that is on all the lists of you know things to do when you're in Dublin, even though it's not technically Dublin. And I've never done it. It's supposed to be gorgeous. I picked, I think, the most gorgeous day that we're gonna get in May in Ireland, uh, and it's a Wednesday. So hopefully that means it won't be too crowded. However, before we get started on this very fun walk, we gotta get some lunch. There's a very cool food market here, which is why I chose to start the walk in Bray instead of starting in Greystones and then ending here, uh, cause I'm hungry now. As expected, I am very full <laughs> from lunch, but not too full for this hike. I don't even think it technically counts as a hike. I think it's, I think real hikers would say it's, it's not a hike, but whatever we're gonna call it, we're doing it. And we're gonna go up there, I think. I, I don't really know which way the trail goes. We'll find out. online that the cliff walk had been closed part of it anyway it was a couple months ago so I thought that it would be open again we're still gonna do as much of it as is open and then maybe go up to Bray Head it's called the cross I don't know you know I'm counting this as a travel day and travel always has mishaps right <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's all fine Now, I don't know if you can really see from here, but just over there, I believe, is Greystones, which is where this walk is supposed to end, except there was that sign that said that part of the walk is closed. I'm still hoping it's wrong. That's, that's some blind optimism right there. So I definitely think I was right to come on a Wednesday because if the weather was like this on a Saturday, whew, this trail would be packed and it's not, you know, it's not a huge trail, um, but I have to say, oh, the train. Anyway, I have to say how much I love Irish people. <laughs> Every time I pass someone on this trail who is not Irish, we might give a head nod, but like, you know, not really acknowledging each other. But if I pass an Irish person, they always say hi. It's so nice. The further I go on this walk, the more I'm realizing how much I needed it. <laughs> I just think I really was getting trapped in the lockdown monotony. And then earlier this month, when some of the lockdown restrictions were eased, it like, didn't even really register in my mind. I went to one bookstore and that was it. <laughs> We're allowed to go anywhere in the country now, which feels crazy because for so long, you couldn't go more than five kilometers from your house. And just, we all got really used to it. Well, I shouldn't say we all, but my friends and I got pretty used to it. And now it's like, I have to push myself to get out, but I'm really glad that I did. I think it's just difficult because like, Obviously the, the tricky time is not over, it's getting better, but it's still definitely present. So it, it feels a little premature to be celebrating anything, but that doesn't mean that we can't enjoy life and get out and see a bit of our surroundings. I also feel very fortunate that I have the option to, you know, just go and treat myself on a Wednesday and spend the afternoon doing this. Uh, so I don't want to take that for granted, but I also 
want to take advantage of it more often than I do. I mean, I should be going on an adventure at least once a week. <laughs> Especially now that our days are just crazy long. It's currently late May and the sunset is at like 10 o'clock at night, which is oh, just lovely. The fact that I can get home from a full day out and still, you know, have evening sunshine, that's awesome. New York, the latest we get is like a 9 p.m. sunset on maybe the longest day of the year. And we've been having 10 o'clock for the past like, I don't know, two weeks? I don't really keep track anymore. There's Greystones. We're so close, yet very far away if the trail is indeed closed and I have to go back. Ah, I really hope I can just get the dart back into town. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm wondering if that is what the trail was closed for and then I can just walk past it and it's fine. I mean, the trail's not blocked. People just walked by me. I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, I am never gonna hit your phone. So this whole last stretch here has just been like walking through uh, fields, which is cool, but it, it was a little bit um, anticlimactic because I think the cliffs were a bit more interesting. <laughs> that might be my answer that it is clearly now open but it was maybe not open previously anyway i think i made it or i'm about to have made it oh no which way do i go i did it i made it through to Greystones, and I don't have to turn around and do the entire, what was that, hour and a half, two hour walk again? So that's, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on this little walk and talk adventure. It certainly is a lot sunnier than the last time I did one of these in February when it snowed. So I'm feeling very grateful for good weather and long sunny days and cute Irish nature. Feel free to leave a comment below with whatever kind of video you'd like to see next on this channel, whether it be music focused or Ireland focused or general travel, expat life. I talk a lot, so there's a lot that I could cover. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.